I want to start by thanking the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichilema, for having a press briefing during the week. The President tackled a lot of issues bordering on the economic situation and the political situation in our country. For me, the President missed an opportunity to tackle the issue to do with Copper Belt Province. I am a member of Copper Belt Province, not by default. I'm the son of the soil. I understand the issues on the Copper Belt Province better than any other person. I've, I'm from Copper Belt Province. I'm Lamba by tribe. And I can see the suffering of our people on the Copper Belt Province. Copper Belt Province, is, it is the province which is unique. It is unique in the sense that we have Copper Belt Rural and Copper Belt Urban. The challenges in Copper Belt Rural and Copper Belt Urban, there are two different challenges. And we expected the president to tackle Copper Belt Province in a different manner altogether. But the president failed to do so. I want to assure the president that, uh, Mr. President, if you lose Copper Belt Province the way it is today, my advice to you is just start packing your bags because 2026 is not yours. The people of Copper Belt Province, they're upset with you. They're upset with your government because you have failed to address serious issues pertaining to the Copper Belt Province. When you came to the Copper Belt Province, Mr. President, I was in the province, and all the trips which you have made to the Copper Belt Province, I'm always in the province. Immediately you leave the province, I do interact with the people in the province, and the sentiments which, are, which have been coming from the people of the Copper Belt Province, it's very disheartening. Mr. President, the name which you are carrying now, Bash Promise, came from Mufrira because the people of Mufrira expected a good news for them concerning Mupani. But you failed to give the people of Mufrira, the people of Kitwe, hope. The people of Chingola, Chililabombwe, they have been waiting for you, Mr. President, to deal with the issue of KCM. These are two major issues which we have on the Copper Belt province. Now that we have seen that you have no interest or capacity to deal with the issues on the Copper Belt province, I want to assure my people, my relatives on the Copper Belt province that let us forget about Mr. Akainde Ichilema, president of this republic, to sort out our challenges on the Copper Belt province. We are going to sort out those challenges amongst ourselves. And we know the best way of sorting out these problems on the Copper Belt province. We know the challenges in Copper Belt Lulo, and we know the challenges in Copper Belt Urban. Mr. President, I recall very well when the, my brothers and sisters visited your residence in um, Newcastle. You promised them heaven on earth because you gave them hope that you are going to turn around the economic fortune of the Copper Belt province. But alas, we are still, we are still here. The status quo is still the same. I want to urge my people on the Copper Belt province that uh, we are going to sort out this issue. And the sorting out of issues on the Copper Belt province starts today. We want to work as a team and make sure that come 2026, we remove this government of Mr. Akainde Ichilema so that he can go and concentrate on other issues which may add value to the development of this country, but not governance. The governance issue he has failed. 
he has failed because he has failed to sort out the issues on the Copper Belt province. And the same issue on the Copper Belt province, I want to advise my elder brother, Elisha Matambo, that uh, please, can you stop intimidating my young sister, the mayor of Kitwe? The mayor of Kitwe was elected by the electorates of Kitwe district. He is not, she is not a, a, a nominated person. She is an elected person. She is carrying the mandate from the people of Kitwe. And let her execute her duties without any interference, without any intimidation. If you want to do politics, come to us. We are here to do politics with you, Mr. Matambo. Leave my sister alone. Leave my sister alone. She has a lot of things to do in Kitwe. You have failed to develop Copper Belt Province. She has been trying by all means to make sure that she cool the tempers of the people of Kitwe. So don't disturb her. Let her work. She has the mandate. She's not like you, my elder brother. You have no mandate. You have no mandate. The mandate which you are carrying, it's an extension from the president. The mandate which she has is the mandate from the people, straight from the people. You are a nominated member and you don't even uh, know or feel uh, uh, how difficult it is to work with the people in the constituency, in the district, or in the ward. You don't know. So let us respect the people who have been given the mandate from the people. We also want to talk about the energy sector in our country. We have been talking about this issue. We advised the government and the government have failed to do what we advised them. Mr. President, we advised you on road shedding. We also advised you on the issue to do with Tazama and the finished product which you have started pumping from Dar es Salaam to Ndola. We told you, Mr. President, that the risk is huge. But as usual, because you are know it all, you are the president who doesn't want to be advised. The issue which we experienced recently in Imbea, it is just one of many issues which we are yet to see. That product, the finished product, it's very expensive to monitor that pipeline. The big chunk of that pipeline, it is through sometimes the park and th thick forest. And there's no one who can go and inspect that pipeline. And we have also received a very disturbing information, Mr. President. And I want to urge you to instruct ERB and Minister of Energy to confirm what we want to tell you now. Mr. President, the former government of Mr. Edgar Chagualungu decided that Zambia will now move to low sulfur fuel. But the information which we have, that fuel which we are bringing in, the diesel, it is not low sulfur. It is destroying the vehicles of the citizens. And we want you, Mr. President, to engage ERB and verify this information. If it is true, Mr. President, that the diesel which is coming now in our country, it is not raw sulfur. It is very unfortunate. It is very unfortunate because the people who have been mandated to transport or to pump fuel from Dar es Salaam into Ndola, agrofuel, their members of the UPND, or they are sympathizers of the UPND. And for us, we want the people who are working with you, Mr. President, because you have talked about uh, uh, zero tolerance to corruption. We want you to move in and make sure that this issue, which, uh, it has, which has come to our, our attention, let it uh, be investigated, Mr. President. Mr. President, for us, we want a better Zambia. 
We want a better Zambia because it's not about us. It's about the 17 million Zambians. It's not about Bowman. It's not about uh, President Takainde Ichirema. But it's about the people of Zambia. Politicians go. Politicians go. We have been having politicians. Even my older brother, Mr. Kadobi, he was a powerful politician in this country. But today, he has taken a back seat. There are other people who have come now on the scene. That is the way politicians are. So, Mr. President, today, God has given you this opportunity to govern this nation. But you just have to know that one day, you will come out of that uh, uh, position as president of the republic. The thing is, the question which uh, Vanalumango asked the president, uh, Edgar Lungu, mm -hmm. at Wakaunda's funeral, that question, yari ngiri okuya, kuri baaka inde, na Vanalumango avene, if you baka bebu kishapo kubena Zambia, ngabafu mamubu teko, finishi, ili ya kwesheni, ya rirong kwesheni kuipusha ba Edgar Lungu. Because ba Edgar Lungu, if you watch ta muno mchalo, ba na Lumango, ta badi ingire no kuipusha ili ya kwesheni. Badi ingire fie, uku kuipusha veni, ba ipusha. Bushe ifwe, ba UPND nga tuwafuma government, finishi, baka tuibu kishapo, abena Zambia. So, if you not fire, uh, corruption of a president, then we have seen the institutions like SEC and DEC. I'm pretty sure that those institutions were established under President Kenneth Kaunda for one simple reason, just to oppress their colleagues. Okay? Okay. Muchienga. So my proposal, Mr. President, is that going forward, you just uh, uh, abolish SEC. You take the information from the SEC to intelligence part. You put the arrest to police because uh, we have been having no results with SEC. So, if you can just uh, uh, separate SEC, one section of information goes to uh, OP, the other section to do with arrest, the police, they are mandated uh, to, uh, to do that. So, Mr. President, that is uh, uh, my advice. The issue to do with agriculture in our country, you know, President uh, Lungu, President Kaunda, President... Uh, Chiluba, President Manawasa, President Rupia Banda, President Sata. They tried to make sure that they push agriculture and operate agriculture as business. And Mr. Aka Inde Ichirema, agriculture is very important. It is very important to the well-being of the country. You can't work without eating. So we want to advise you, Mr. President, that not the people of Kalingalinga, not the people of Kavushi, not the people of Bwengu, not the people of Mutendele, not the people of Chawama, not the people of uh, uh, Masaiti. Mr. President, this is very serious and you just have to sit down with your FRA board chair and the entire uh, team your Minister of Agriculture, and try to sort out this issue. The issue to do with soya, soya, uh, soya beans, Mr. President, that issue is a very serious issue. But President, I want to come back to fertilize. I want to back to fertilize. Hello, Valanda, I want to go to Pia, Chinshi, Apa. I want to go to Pia, Apa, Chinshi. Barima soya beans. Bari mana utumataba. Bari shibati. Ishi mpia tuwa vika mumataba. Shikesa afuma na tuwa shitisha soya beans. Soya beans hii. Ni fwe bo fwe government. Fwe ba rechita promote. Ama farmers. Limeni soya beans. Limeni amataba. Limeni mbalala. 
de men infin tu fiale kanare kan elo muise no mbaba president muise much te dump ama zambians ama farmers just like that nishna bengisha mwenda lama isho mwinga ba fo kufunya mudia isho ba ingisha mataba na msoya bens ba president ikare in panchi na board chair wa FRA na system yonse shteni soya bens Mushte soya beans hapa. Elo mwewewe wa farmo kwe bati. Next farming season. Ifwe. Fwe government ita wakashte. Soya beans. So that ama farmers. Bae shibabe ni pa kwa mbo kwe bati. I soya beans na laima. Nka ishtisha pa black market. Abe ingi ama farmers. Bae dilando kwe bati. Soya beans wakashtisha kwisa. Kwe fara ye. Umutengo bae shibyo wa ripo last ye. Apapare it's actually expected. Ato kwa mutengo. Kala kwera ko. So that, pakuate, ulu pia, ulu wakulipili daba na wa wakuma university, ulu wakulipili da na mabiozi, haya pusana pusana. No kuchita prepare for the next farming season. So, our president, avantu na abafulua, padi soya, soya beans. Na abafulua, bade fwaya, muikale, mushite soya beans. Because tapale kubala tuwala, Iyo ine black market, baka ya mkwa data, vya toke 200 kwa cha. 100 kwa cha. Ba president, chintu kwa tete kwa vantulu say, you can't dump the people just like that. You can't dump the farmers just like that. Elu wa vantu wa ba president, e vantu ba vota. Elu wa vantu wa ba small scale farmers. E vantu wa ba lishi ya chino chalo. Not those friends of yours in Mukushi, not those friends of yours in Mazabuka, and other surrounding areas. Ba president, bari avantu, tabako atomu tima wavantu. Bari avantu, ninda lama bafuwa yafi, ni business. Tien tumfu ileko avantu luse, ba president. Soya benzi, shteni, ba government. Fuwa eni mpia, mushte eh, soya benzi. Etuwe tulefuwa ya ukumona. Ba president, mwali landa, wino sana, mwalanda. Namba maisa rufianya. Mulewa avantu ativa shtishe soya benzi. Kumu black market wa president shua. Ni mwa president baba nani? Mwa president baba ntu. Na mwa president baba diya bantu. Aba kwata ulupia. Because nga mwa president baba ntu. Imwe number one wa president. It's better if we mchalo tuwa kwate nko ngole. Tuwa tu chita investi mwa agriculture. Abantu vadia. Because economy wa president. Yadama graphs mwa red pep. Iya economy mwale tuwewe chalo chilishani. Fidia ama projections ya dia. They are not if in two of them wa chita achieve. Wow. Ma projections ya. Elo, mwale landa na msu nge mpia. Ba president na msu nge mpia. Mufipata ala tamudi umuti. Shansh. Mpia msu nge. Shansh. Na msu nge mpia wa president. Mufipata ala tamudi umuti. Just to show. Kuli ba heme fate, fila mwa tuwewe ni na mwane mpia tusungire. Bata bantu ni nishivalefu. Shanchi mpia mwinga sunga ba president. So, chiteni po chimu ba president, especially, pamiti na soya beans ukushita kuma farmers. Ba president, etu mkwate fila mwa mistakes. Mwonse, agriculture, mwini mistake. Health, mwini mistake. Mining, mwini mistake. Takwa haba. And our president, if we have a copper belt, not to be up to June. Ngata mwaka sorting yama problems, I have copper belt by June. We are going to mobilize ourselves and do demonstrations because enough is enough. We are the owners of this country and we can't see the people in Kalumbira bale yabale tusamukbale tuseka. Ah, if you are Zambians, Fiari po alala. Ishi shonse ndeke muli hapa. Ifi fionse fuma building hape. Shinda rama tukwete. Shef ma mzambi. Hello ifo fwewe ne. Fwe ma zambi anzi. Tuikare. Kwa atitatua ishi wafo tuchita. Pa president. Ama calculation zoyo mwa kwete. Ndodi ya mwa limo opposition. Narefu anoku mi joina. Because. Yare chita encourage. Yare chita encourage sana. Njebede zambi anomba. Ya wama. Ma president yopo mwaishira, fya liluba, fionse fya liluba. 
So no mbae fwe tule itule itwishikande. Namba president fidabare tuwe wa fia ya kui. So ndafo ya kui pisha muda mchi state house limbi mwa vendosh. Pantu teti ba president mula be fion sofu mwadela ya vantu. Teti. Na abama wa president as venu. Ba milumba fio kwa avula no kui shiba fwe barekita. Ba milumba besa kuli ifwe. Muku lomba no mbesha kushita pamela. Besa kuli ifwe. Awe, tupeniko, awe, tucheni. Na ifuwewe neti tatukwe, tetuli, tule chulila fepamu. But ndabali ilanda, kwa tibena na avadi ya. Kansh, tapadi. Ale chalo ba president, chuku teke chalo, wonse tufuile, tuwavika mo uluvadi. Wonse fye. Ok? Wonse fye. Tufuile tuwavika mo uluvadi, muku teka chalo. Ba president ishu imbi ni ishu ya ba Edgar Chagwa Lungu. Mwalida ndira tiba Edgar Lungu ba fuire ba chita retire mu active politics. Ba president ba Edgar Lungu ni ba president ba organization. Ba di ba president ba chalo. No mba mle lando kweba at according to uh, uh, former president benefits act. Ta isu minisha umuntu u shiri retired ma active politics. So kupoka ama benefits. Ba president. Ba Edgar Lungu. Ba adi kwata if you tweet that uh, democratic rights. Ba president Edgar Lungu ba adi kwata of your Twitter, whoever at human rights. But President Lungu, who could take a chinoe chalo vaka teka, take whoever at ninshi, his democratic rights, his human rights, ibaba poka awe. Who could take a chalo take whoever at inga wafuma, then you have no uh, uh, human rights, you have no democratic rights, you can't associate, you can't go to, uh, to jog. You can't uh, assemble with uh, uh, your colleagues. You can't join the political party of your choice. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. President Edgar Chagualungu he still enjoys democratic rights and human rights. He's a human being. He's a free man. So, my President, if you're going to retire, I don't know about the democratic right to stand again. Taba kumanisha matemzi yo. Naba kuata. If he wants he can stand in 2026. Those are his uh, uh, the rights. But wa president na mkwata na reta ya wa Edgar Lungu. Iyo bala andoko wati. Chilefuaya ukui minina. So, uku bala anda po. Tafipanga fye. Tafimune kabu ino. Because if ofo tulefu oku mwona. Trefo kumona imwe wa president na ba Edgar Lungu. Muka wa join epo no kwa join apo. Jogging ilia. Na imwe muka ye join. Muka jogeko. Muka landeko. If into. If ya kulete chalo. Pamo. If into if ya kulete chalo. Pamo. Avantu fio kumimona fe. Imwe na ba Edgar Lungu mule joga. Ni nshiba ishibati. Abavantu. Na ba lete chalo. Panga. Pamo. Hapa tulefuwa ayo kumona. Na imo muka ye jogging ako. Kudia ba president yoko ba jogging. To that effect. Hii wiki ile amba. We are going to challenge. The former president benefits act. In parliament. In, in the courts of law. Because it is unconstitution. It is unconstitution. And we want that act to be scrapped off. Because doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Umuntu afuma party wo president at yo taudi ngiro kuba mu active politics. It doesn't make sense. Yo taudi ngiro kuya ku church. Yo taudi ngiro kuya ku taudi ngiro kuya ku fidido. It doesn't make sense. So yidi aba fuide to alikwata aba ngala pa ma constitution na ma lawyers to refer aba ka ibele nge bwino san. Baka tarika nebu ino sana mu koti. Baka tuwewe why we should maintain that act. 
in our constitution. Because it's not serving any purpose. It is not serving any purpose. The next issue is the issue to do with China, Russia, and Zimbabwe. But President Tivari Tuevati Balea ku China, number Bali Bamu Q. For that we were there, in the queue. So, our president, if we are China, we are good friends. We are good, good friends. If we are to and we should not take the same path, we should maintain the results which we got. If you recall very well, Mr. Sata, more position by and that said that I'm Chinese. Okay? But I said that I'm Chinese. Hello, but we never said. Why should it and that? I was thinking I can fix the Chinese. Can she go to my answer? Fix. Could stay to also go to my answer. From there, I said, by such that I realized that state by China, I could have to go to Beijing. By such to my Wakaunda. Ukuya ku Benjin. Ukuya muku pekanya the landing uh, bay yaba sata ku China. Baka unda bari ile. Elo bai ile ku China. Baya kwa tama meetings yabu. Na respect baba pera baka unda kuma uh, kuri ba, ba China. Basa tabari ile ku China. Na relationship ya Zambia na China. Ya di buwela munomo. But President Taka in the HRM, whether we have the relationship in China, so we need a special envoy to go to China. Number no, amongst ourselves, who is fit to go to China? Who is fit to be a special envoy to the President of the Republic of Zambia? The only person is Edgar Chagwalungu. That is the only person. So time we never come to jogging. But President Chaka in the but President Edgar Lungu, my brother, where we have reached, it's not about you, it's not about me, it's about the country. So, Njirako ku China, Muye Munch Tireko create a space, Ndandeko, number President back China, so that if into Fiambio kwenda. But President Ngabaya ku China, if you have a special envoy. But China, baka ya have a pocket of a president, no kubalolesh. Baka fumeko no kufumako. Tapari fika chitika. Tapari fika chitika. Because, but President never taking a time. He has been to America, I don't know how many times. He has been to Europe, I don't know how many times. But China, na bena, na we have never fought in Ngamabo. Kubale lolesha. Mama na? So time Ngabaya fika no mbatu kuya ku China, beka. More Chinese Bakalan that why now? Bakalan that why now? Because you are a president, you have all the information. You know that for us as a country to manage to do the debt structuring, we need China. So, number one, umunto bari ngiri okuyako, chalocho bari ngiri okuyako, ni China. Ngabawa ku China, elo bakonka nyapo kulaya nomba, kuma, uh, kuma countries, yambi, nishwa ishibati, in the machine, you shall have a lot of money. China. Okay? So, my president, my challenge is that go to your, your brother, President Lungu, and let President Lungu be your special envoy to China so that we cross this, uh, uh, this bridge. We have seen uh, African countries again going into Europe, invite to go and discuss issues pertaining to African continent. Baba Longa na Mubas Kwatibana Veskulu. We want Ama President Vesu Aba Mu Africa. Bakwatia Maka. Now kwaba any event to discuss the issue to do with Africa. We want to challenge Sadiq. We want to challenge AU 
to invite those European leaders to come to Africa so that we can discuss our issues in Africa. We can't go and discuss our issues in Europe. No, it doesn't work like that. We have to discuss our issues here. We have to discuss our issues here. They don't consider us to be leaders. Joe Biden, Bari Mulusumini Shoku Pita Mulandan, na convoy yakwe, ne miotoka, shakwe, eshwa ishide na shoku fuma kwa America. Ba President Vesu, Baba Longa Muchibas. Ngabale isa kuno toa wa pokele la nama konvo ya yasuma, but wafu mine mungu nina chibas. We have to respect our presidents. And our presidents, ifo toa bachita respect kuno, wafu wafuile baba chita na respect oko balea. Zimbabwe. Our brothers and sisters of the Republic of Zimbabwe, they'll be going for elections this year. We want to advise our brothers and sisters in Zimbabwe that the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. But President Munagagwa, Bale Womba, Ukufuaya, Ichalo Cha Zimbabwe, Chiweke Ryoko Chali. But President Munagagwa is working 24 7. I remember us as Zambians, we used to go to Vic Falls, we used to go to Alare for us to buy a canned cock, canned Fanta, uh, apples, and many other fruits from Zimbabwe. But where we are now, the problem is not President Munagagwa's government. Problem is the West. Those sanctions, those sanctions which were imposed on the president, comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe, the West, they just have to remove those sanctions. Because they aimed at president, comrade Gabriel Mugabe, and comrade Gabriel Mugabe is no longer there. He's no longer there. So, but you have to temwa. to Temua. I'm a West, Gabari to Temua, from Africans. Gabari to Temua, because Zimbabwe and Zambia, we are one. Ututuma Boda Mumono, but a party of Otwa. We are one. We can go and eat in uh, Shima in Mun, uh, President Munagagwa's house. President Munagagwa can come to Mumbwa and uh, cultivate, because we are one. So problem with Zimbabwe, naifu is not quite a problem. Zimbabwe, ngayabwe kero foyali. Zambia will benefit. South Africa will benefit. Malawi will benefit. Botswana, Namibia, all of us in Southern Africa, we are going to benefit. We are going to benefit. So the people of Zimbabwe, we know, bamwansaka binga na bengila, Zimbabwe, government. No, by no, my uncle, my uncle Munagagwa, Ari Batambakale, they don't call him crocodile for nothing. They don't call him crocodile for nothing. Ari Bamona, he has analyzed them. And we want the people of Zimbabwe to support the government of the day because we have seen how Zimbabwe has been transforming. Immediately, they remove the sanctions in Zimbabwe. I can assure you that Zimbabwe will never be the same again. Those buses which you see uh, trooping between Chilundu and uh, Lusaka. Chika chepa. Okay? Nga kui sabaka laisa tatu tu amu kumwana wa bluru. Tu amu kumwana kwa kuzambia fokuli. Nota tu amu kushita sopo kuzambia. Nota tu amu kushita drink kuzambia. That we want Zimbabwe to go back to their original status. So for me, these are the few points which we prepared to share with the press. We want this country to prosper. We want the president to make sure that he maintains his words and put them in practice, especially when it comes to the rule of law. We want the president to face the people of Zambia proudly 
and say we have managed to remove Qadarism in markets. We have managed to remove Qadarism in bus stops. And today, we are here without Qadarism in by-elections. But alas, those things, they are still there. When you go to bus stops, cadres are there. When you go to markets, cadres are there. When you go to by-elections, cadres are still there. For us, we want to see the president putting his foot down. Mr. President, the people of Zambia voted for you. Just deliver according to the promises which you gave them. I thank you. And may God bless you. If you have any questions, we are here.